Okay, so this toilet was not flushing properly, and then it stopped flushing, and then I opened this up, and this thing was um, not working. So what I did was I drained it, and at first I cut off the, uh, the water supply to it. So, <clears throat> so if stuff breaks, I don't want water leaking. Let's say this tank breaks. I don't want water leaking on the floor. So I brought two replacements, and I'm going to try them both. Or maybe just try one and see if I'm pleased with it. And one is a more aesthetic one and better quality, I would imagine. It's all metal. And the other one is a very inexpensive one, so I could save money and only spend seven bucks. And that's this one, and it has a metal. What I wanted was metal out here, and this one, which has white and metal. But this is all metal as well. You can feel the weight of the difference. This is plastic. This is what broke. So let's try that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use these tools to uh, remove this, to safely remove this. And maybe I don't got to take this white thing out. Let me see something. So it's only supposed to have that much play. Maybe I don't have to take that white thing. Okay, so let's see if I loosened it. And yes, it's coming in up. Boom, and look. Let's see, this is a reference. So what I'll do is I'll screw it back in. Look, if you, if you do turn this right, it doesn't go in. Turn it loose, left, and it tightens up. <laughs> so lefty, loosey, righty, tighty, not in every case. So now I'm just going to clean this staging area a little bit. It's, it looks clean. Good. And so now i got to put the new one in there. It's the one that I'm going to go with. Let's try it. I'm going to take this apart and put it in there. So I take it apart and I left the hardware in the order that it's going to go in. Now this right here, I have to figure out, does the porcelain go on the on the outside of that rubber gasket or does it go in between? I would think on it's going to go on this side right here by the thread. I'm sorry, it's going to push in and the porcelain is going to go here. But we'll figure that out. So that worked out well, but guess what? The wash is not on this side, the wash is on this side. And according to this, according to this, it says that the washer has to go on the outside. Look at this. Look at this diagram right there. See right there, it says rubber washer. So it has and this is the tank. So I have to simply take this out and just put the rubber washer on that side. Good thing I did not throw this out because I was using this. I was going to try to use a socket wrench to remove this. I couldn't, so I just used uh, one of those tools. But look, look how the difference in size it doesn't fit. And none of my sockets fit on this one. This is a sixth, one inch. But anyway, look, it does fit here. Perfect. And so this is in reverse, so going that direction, left tightens it. So there we go. It's a reminder, don't be so prompt to throw things out. So now I'm going to take this hardware that's there, and I'm going to put this through the top. And, and then I'm going to put the one nut on the bottom. Hold on a second, I'm going to figure something out. So what I wanted to figure out was, if this device, if this goes underneath this or above it, and so according to the diagrams, it goes above it, and that's where I got that information from. So it's on top of it, not on the bottom of it, and that's what I'm going to do. All right. Also, according to these instructions, this little metal washer, the the, uh, the nickel type washer, is going to go in between this. So this is going to go on the top right there, and then this washer is going to be on the bottom. And that is according to the diagram right there. And so this washer is going to touch this, and it's also going to touch this. So there it is. I've hand tightened this one, and then this one I've uh, tightened this with the tool. And so let me see if this moves. So this doesn't move, and this has a little spring to it. And so now I have to replace, uh, reconnect the chain and get rid of that uh, plastic one, and then see if this clears... I think that this is fine, that it's not going to hit the top of the tank, but you never know. Just got to check. So I've connected it, and it's on the second to last. Maybe I should just connect it and see how it would be if I put it further out. And again, let me think. I think that's fine. While I said it was fine to, at the second to last, I still moved it to the last. Hopefully there's not a lot of tension there. Because I don't want that rubber thing to break. Hold on, let me just put this down and just feel the tension. 
Yeah, I think that's something we found. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to return the water to this by turning this. Sometimes you guys should exercise your valves. I do it every six months. You exercise the valves so they don't get dry, and when you do have to cut them off, there's no leaking. It's okay, it's some moisture and stuff like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drain it now because I'm just muddying up the water. There's a lot of sediment on the bottom, but it is loose. And I would like to get it out of there. And so there it is. So it's running, it's filling up, it's the seal, I guess it's still good. Uh, so this is the new handle. Um, I gotta tighten this a little bit more because I just did it by hand, this this metal part here. I did this by tool tightening, which is good. Now what happens is this, that device, as it goes up, as it gets lifted up by air, like it just went up a little bit, as it gets up higher, it will cut this off. And even if this thing overflows and it keeps going, it'll fill, it'll overflow into there. So that's where the cutoff thing is. You could you could rate, turn this and raise it so that way you can get more of a flush, uh, depending on on how many gallons you want. I'm kind of I'm kind of very satisfied with this because this is not even um, this is about half a tank flush. So I get to conserve the water. All right, so let's see how it works. Very good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the, the, uh, the things back on it and then flush it two more times. And this is what I do with my roommate's toothbrush. She gets me mad. No, we're playing that out. This is, this is my old toothbrush and I save them to just clean shit up. What I normally do with these is like when I stain the fabric in my car, I use mineral spirits and this, and I have this thing in it. You can get ink out and all that stuff. Anyway, so. Okay, so there we go. It looks, so you got white and chrome. It's actually real metal. And so there's, here's this look, that look, and this look. So, you know, and that um, seat matches the floor here, and the door with white and chrome kind of matches the, um, that little thing. Maybe I should get some, some white curtains. <laughs>